All right, welcome back. So today I'm going to be registering for my first semester of grad school and specifically in the MCIT online program. Now, today I'll be talking about what specific courses I've selected and then two, some two-year plans that I've developed because I plan to take the program in about two years, give or take. So anyways, let's begin. All right, so this semester, I'm only going to be taking two classes, at least so far. Um, I was interested in taking it full time, which is about three courses. But right now I'm considering waiving a course and I'm thinking of just doing two for now, starting it off slower than I thought, just so I can get used to the program and used to everything that surrounds it. So the two courses that I've selected, first is the Intro to Software Development class. This class is an introduction to Python and Java, and also it's required for every student for their first semester. Now I'm looking forward to this class because it's teaching Java, which I've never really learned, but I hope there's some projects or assignments that will make it really fun. There's a little bit of Python in it, so I'm also looking forward to that because I actually have some previous experience, but not, and not anything too deep or anything kind of fascinating or such like that. But Pretty simple with that. All right, so my second course is Introduction to Computer Systems. Now it says that this class is in C, and I've heard, again, C is a very hard language because it's a very low level or close to the machine language in a computer. So you have to write more details and stuff like allocating space, um, stuff I really don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm really interested in learning more and actually understanding more of the inner and hardware aspects of a computer if we get to any of those topics. Now, this is one of the more foundational classes that I found really attractive in this program because in my college experience, I never had the opportunity both in school or out of school to actually get hands-on with this topic. So I definitely wanna learn more, see what I can do with it. And even in my future goals, um, cause I'm considering getting a career in either data science or something machine learning related. Um, perhaps, I don't think C is used that often, but I think just the foundation and the way you talk about systems and architecture will be really useful, not only to talking other, to other engineers, but even just learning all of that in your own career as well. All right, so in this program, I've kind of decided it for myself that I wanted to complete it within two years. In a typical master's program, you typically complete it in two years. This one is unique in that you can take it part-time and you can even take it up to seven years um, just on a part-time basis. But I was considering taking it full-time or at least half-time, quote-unquote, with two courses, but I still have a goal of completing it within two years. Now, I've drafted up a lot of sample plans of how exactly I'm going to take this course and how I'm planning to take it in each semester, but I roughly have the idea of two years. As you can see, I have around several, but I'm leaning towards some, one or the other, and all of them begin with fall 2020, which is when I'm beginning the program. Now, the question is, when am I finishing? Would that either be uh, spring, summer, or even December of 2022, which would be two years from now? I've been considering trying to finish it on a regular um, basis, quote unquote, where it ends in spring, fall to spring. But I'm also considering summer and if need be, even ending in fall 2022 options. Now in this specific sample plan that I'm particularly looking forward to is this one, where it starts from fall 2020 to summer 2022. Now why I find that a more appealing course plan is that there's only around two or one class within each semester. Now, again, this would have to take summer semesters where I only take one course on a part-time basis. This may be a little difficult in the future. I haven't decided it yet, but I'm interested in having an internship. So it might, it may conflict with having one course on the side, but also um, tuition wise, just trying to get the financial aid situation. I heard it's a little different for summer, but I think one thing that I really like about this program is that um, each semester, at least from what I read, is sliced off into an equal weekly 
um, allotted time. So what I mean by that is each semester is the same length. I think approximately 14 weeks. And no matter if it's fall, spring, or summer, if you were taking a course that was offered, you could complete it at the same pace as if you were taking it during spring or fall. And I think that's really useful and really flexible, especially as this is an online program and people come from a lot of different backgrounds. This is very suitable for what their needs may be and specifically for mine as well, who someone who's considering maybe taking an internship, but also studying on the side or trying to complete in two years, trying to have a different time length than other people. I think this is a really great option and I hope to really use that in the future. But anyways, guys, that's just a quick update for me. Um, let me know down below how you're planning your semester or what you're interested in about trying to apply to this program or something like it. What is kind of important for you? The type of flexibility in its semester schedules or um, waiving or transferring a class? How are you gonna plan it all out? Let me know down below, but just wanna say thanks for watching.